So I am just gonna do a quick get ready with me. And I like to turn on my steamer and let that start getting warm and heated up while I put my turban on so that my hair doesn't get any moisture on it. Um, I'm gonna start by washing my face and I like to use the CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. I really like this cleanser because it lathers very well and I feel like my face gets really clean but not stripped. So I really like this cleanser. As you can see, my steamer is going and I like to keep that on uh, while I'm washing my face and just let it open my pores up so that when I'm doing my other skincare products, uh, they can actually penetrate through my skin, into my skin. While I'm steaming my face, I am going to be brushing my teeth if you don't know, I am a dental hygienist, so I never skip this step. <laughs> I take the full two minutes to brush my teeth. <laughs> So I'm gonna continue steaming my face here. As you can see, I really enjoy this step. I do it often. Sometimes I do it morning and night and multiple times a week. All right, so next in my skincare routine, I am going to be doing some toning with Witch Hazel. Also, I like to make sure that I get behind my ears and also don't forget your neck it's important to to make sure that you do whatever you do to your face to your neck and your decollete all right moving along I am using the Murad's environmental shield uh, serum this serum is no longer on the market I think I may have talked about it before in another video but um, they took it off the market because it has hydrochloroquine in it and they use that during the pandemic for COVID somehow. And I'm gonna be using the Cetaphil SPF um, facial lotion or facial moisturizer. And I'm making sure to put it all over my neck and all over my decollete. All right, so moving on to lips, I like to use the Tatcha Kishu lip balm um, I think it's actually a lip mask but I really like this one it's not sticky it's kind of thin but I like to put it on before I do any of my makeup products and I am using the Chanel Le Lift eye cream typically I like to put my eye cream on before I put my SPF on but I went a little bit out of order anyway Alright, so getting into makeup, I am using the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Tint in the color 9N, I believe. Maybe 9W, I don't remember. It doesn't matter. I'll leave it listed below. But um, since I started using this skin tint or this uh, particular foundation, I have been in love with it. I really like how it goes on. Um, it's not too thick. And... It has a um, sheer coverage, but it is buildable. I won't say full coverage buildable, but it's about a medium build. My favorite way to apply it um, is with my Beauty Blender. I actually got this one on Amazon because I was sick of spending $20 for one. So I got five in a pack for like $20 all right so I'm gonna be using the Charlotte Tilbury um, concealer this is the new one it's very hydrating um, I like that it is not thick I believe it has hyaluronic acid in it so 
Um, I've been enjoying it. I think I want to try a lighter shade, something a little more brightening for my under eye, but we'll see. I let my concealer sit for just a second um, so that it gets a little bit tacky before I blend it out. And I like to make sure I don't have any eye boogers so that doesn't mess up my makeup application. Guys, you want to make sure that when you're blending out your concealer under your eye, you're being very gentle. It looks like I was dabbing pretty hard, but this sponge is really soft. Alright, so I just like to make sure I blend out my concealer one last time before I apply any powders around my eyes so that it doesn't look cakey. I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Airbrush Finish Powder. I probably just butchered the name, but I'll leave it listed below. I have this one in the color number two, so it's one shade lighter than what I would put all over my face. And I bought the small one so that I can just use this for under eye. Um, and anywhere I use the concealer. All right, so this is the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. I really like this bronzer. I use mine to contour, and I like to blend it up just a little bit to give myself just a little bit of a sculpted look. As you can see, it's very, very subtle, but it does the job, and I like to put a little bit on my forehead so it don't look like I have a five head. All right, so all over, I'm gonna be putting number three um, powder. I believe the color is tan. I like to put over my eyelids so that they don't um, look oily. And I'm just taking a little bit of that bronzer and contouring my nose very slightly and also putting that on my eyelids as well. All right, so this is my Holy Grail product. This is the setting spray from Charlotte Tilbury. I love this stuff. Um, I don't know if any of you guys have tried it, but it keeps my makeup like on looking good. So I'm gonna be using Dossier's perfume. This is the Inspired Fragrance for Light Blue by Dulce & Gabbana. Next, I'll be adding my eyeliner, and I'm just using a basic black color, um, but I really like the way my eyes look when I have on eyeliner, so yeah. All right, so brushing my eyebrows up so that all the hairs go in the same direction, and I'm gonna be using Anastasia's Brow Pomade. Um, so this gives you like the soap brow effect. I really like this stuff. I find that putting on with my finger is the best way to apply it. Um, I don't like using a spoolie. It just gets really messy. And I'm going to be using a MAC eyebrow pencil. Um, I believe this color is Strut. I've been using this pencil for a very long time, so I don't even check the color anymore. One thing I really like about makeup is just the transformation that it gives, um, even when you do just a very subtle application. My last step is mascara, and I'm talking to my husband, and I kicked him out the bathroom. <laughs> but mascara is my favorite part. Um, it just opens up your eyes, and it just makes you look awake. This is not my favorite mascara, but I really do like it. All right, so before I do anything else, I like to wash my hands, make sure they're very clean so I don't get makeup on 
anything else and then I'm just gonna take my hair down I'm going to have brunch with one of my friends. Uh, we're at our Brasserie 19. So it's a really cute place. I got here a little bit early um, because most times in Houston, places like this get really packed fairly quickly um, and the traffic is always crazy. So um, yeah, we have reservations for 11 and i think that's what time they open i was sitting here watching uh some youtube while i wait and yeah so i don't really have a lot that i want to do today actually i was going to um stay in the bed but i ended up leaving because i haven't hung out with this particular friend in a while um and i really wanted to hang out with her so when i'm done i'm gonna get back in the bed i was gonna do my hair today because i went walking yesterday and i got like this little hump in the back from my scrunchie but i just don't feel like it so i think i'm gonna wear a ponytail until um probably next week um the end of next week i just don't feel like it so yeah, uh, I need to edit a video that is like th three weeks old and I have just been being lazy and just not really feeling like it and that's just not the vibe um, that I'm supposed to be going for or supposed to be having. So I really need to get myself together and be on top of things dedicate a little bit more time to the things that I want to accomplish um I just wasn't motivated honestly so I am going to adopt the um, attitude of discipline over motivation because a lot of times you don't have to be motivated to do something but you do need the discipline to just continue to do the things even when you don't feel like it so I really been trying to adopt that um, ideology, but um, sometimes it's a little hard because it's just easy to be lazy sometimes and I need to get out of that mindset because it puts you in this state of panic when it's really time for things to be done. So I'm going to stop doing that to myself um, because I really don't like how it feels in the end. Y'all probably see people like walking by and, and riding by because this area is really busy. Yeah. Uh, I 
I wanted to come back on here and uh, show you guys my cup really fast. I got this cup at Target. It's Simple Modern and it is the 24 ounce classic tumbler, I believe. I love this cup so much. It came with a straw. The top is a screw on top and it's supposed to be leak free or spill proof something like that um, obviously water still comes out the top when you turn it all the way over but like if it's just laying on the side it is leak free spill proof I don't know what the claims are I don't remember exactly anyway but I just wanted to show you guys this cup it is by simple modern that's what the logo looks like I think it was maybe like $20 they do sell them on Amazon. You can get it there. Um, and I think that when you buy it on Amazon, it comes with an extra lid or extra straw. It comes with something extra um, as opposed to if you get it at Target. And it may be like $5 more. Anyway, I've been loving this cup. I have been drinking my water like crazy. I refill it multiple times a day. The water does stay cold for 24 hours. Yeah. I also bought the actual water bottle it's like a 32 ounce water bottle um, and I got that from Target as well um, I like that one because it's larger it's not too bulky it's very simple I like the handle the straw works good and my friends here so so I totally forgot to film an outro for this video anyway Thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Bye.